Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Twee. I do loads of makeup challenges, makeup tutorials, reviews, vlogs. So if you are interested, please subscribe, girl, because I upload twice a week, so turn on your little notification bell. Mm. Today's video I have been meaning to film for such a long time because it's been such a highly requested video. I love sharing all my tips about how to grow on social media. I honestly feel like it's one of my passions to help people grow on social media. It's such an amazing tool for new businesses, to grow your own business, to be self-employed. You can be your own boss, don't have to depend on nobody for your checks, girl. So I'm going to be sharing all my tips today on IGTV specifically. Instagram is really pushing IGTV at the moment. If you notice on your explore page IGTV is like a massive box like it takes up a third of the explore page you definitely have a higher chance if you post on IGTV that it will definitely go on people's explore page because if you think about it there's not that many people that's on IGTV at the moment so there's less competition there's more chances of your face being seen on the explore page and the explore page let's face it guys that's where you grow okay that's where the followers come in since I've been posting on IGTV I've seen such amazing growth I've seen more engagement I've also really enjoyed the fact that I can make my videos longer as well. I actually got a chance to go down to the Instagram headquarters and I had a one-on-one -on -one session and they were just telling me how many things they have lined up for IGTV. They're going to monetize it soon so that means that if you are on it and you're creating loads of videos you will soon be making money just like how you do on YouTube. I just feel that like in this day and age, 2019 girl, if you are not utilizing your social media, what are you doing? Do you not want to make extra money? Do you not want to get free products like this is the way to utilize social media and then get a bit of benefits from it connects from people all around the world there's so many things to utilize with social media so don't take that shit for granted guys it's free okay and you could be making money from it from a free platform like i just think that's so amazing so utilize that shit girl so if you guys want to know what my top tips for igtv is please keep watching roll the intro gang mm. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a little screen recording. We've upgraded since the last Instagram video where I actually used a camera to record my freaking laptop. Those were the days, guys, my newbie days. Your girl has upgraded her technology now. So before I start editing, I do wanna quickly mention that I am editing on a MacBook Pro. And I've also invested into this mouse right here. I got this on Amazon. If you're new and you're just doing a few videos here and there, I don't feel that you need it. But if you are doing videos every single day and you're really trying to push your social media, this made my life so much easier. I can't even tell you guys. It's got so many amazing reviews on Amazon. It's from Logitech and it's the MX Master 2S. So basically with this mouse, you can customize each application that you open. So for this, I have programmed this button here to blade for me. I've programmed this button to play and pause. Also, there's a hidden button here. If I press it down, it deletes the clip. You can also scroll along the timeline using this. And then there's also two buttons here that helps me trim and also blade as well so I can honestly just edit using one hand okay so let's get into the screen recording Whoosh. hopefully I'm smaller now can you guys still see me hey hey let's start editing <laughs> okay so what I'm gonna do is on Final Cut Pro I press file new new library and then you want to find where all your files are and I'm just gonna name it um, skincare video because we're gonna be editing a little skincare one today so that's gonna create a new library for you here. And then underneath this library, you need to press new, and then I press new project, and then we're gonna be doing a skincare mask video. And then this is how I get the dimensions to be exactly for Instagram. And then later on, I'm gonna show you how to convert it into IGTV. So I might be doing a longer way. There might be a way that's even quicker than this, but you know, this is how I do it. 1080 and then this one here should be 1350. And then I just literally leave all the rest. So here's my first project here. Okay, now I'm gonna drag all of these files into my timeline. Okay, so now that it's all up here, I basically delete this all down at the bottom. 
So this button here, you always want to make sure you click on it and it always starts off at 30 seconds. I don't know why it does 30 seconds. It's so annoying because basically you won't be able to see all the details of the clip. So I do it down to like five seconds or sometimes two seconds and this will extend the clip so that when I scroll across it, I can see a bit more in detail. When it's on 30 seconds, I literally skim past so many important bits. So now what I do is I edit up here. I know some people actually edit down here on the timeline, but I find that just so confusing. I don't know when I've hit a minute yet and I just prefer to find all my bits here and then bring it down to the timeline. So by doing this, all I literally need to do is I just run my mouse over it until I see a clip that I like. So like here, just these two little, doo -doo, you know, I'll press I and then if you press O, you guys will see it, this little clip here is highlighted yellow. And then if you press E, it goes down to the timeline here. So this bit is the most tedious bit. This is the bit that Grand normally does. It's very boring. Something that I also really recommend for you guys to do is customize your keyboard because a lot of times you have to press command B or command this, command that, and it's just so long holding two buttons to do something. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to commands and you wanna customize your keyboard. Okay, so this is your keyboard at the moment. So if I click on B, you guys can see here, this is blade. Before it was command B to blade and that was just so long guys like ain't nobody got no time to press command and b you guys should definitely watch a couple of videos on how to learn keyboard shortcuts as well because it honestly makes your life so much easier but obviously now that i have my mouse i don't need to do any of this stuff really but if you're editing just on a laptop or your imac learn how to do keyboard shortcuts because it will save your damn life so this is how i edit video guys i literally go out of the frame and i bring the product up like this is how ratchet things are okay so i'm basically going to get this bit here where it pops up like that so i press i and then that thing pops up and and then that's the end of the clip. So I'll press O and then I press E and that brings it down. These are all the little keyboard shortcuts I was telling you guys about. Okay, so this bit here, I'm opening up the mask. So I, O, E to bring it down. Okay, so you wanna scrub through all of your entire videos and then obviously do the I, O, E and bring it down to the timeline. You can of course just drag it as well, but E just makes it so much easier. Grant has already kindly done all this boring part for me, so we're gonna jump over to the bit that he's edited and I'm gonna show you guys the fun stuff. Okay, so you guys can see all along my timeline that Grant has edited it all for me, which is super, super lovely. But when you first drag in the clips, it's gonna look like this with all the black bars at the top, but you basically want it like this, so it fills up the whole screen. So what you do is you click on the clip and you press this little square button here it's called transform and then it comes up with these little blue dots and then you literally just drag it so that your head is at the top and then all the black bars are gone you do have to remember that when you're filming for IGTV especially that all of the sides are cut out so you have to remember when you're showing product you can't show it too far out because it's all going to be cropped out so anything you want to show it needs to be in the middle here like just a bit here it's happened to me so many times before when I try to wave and my hands are out here and it just basically doesn't show so you want to make sure any product while you're filming is in the middle is in the center okay so now that I reframe this one I want to mute it so I want to bring down the volume so instead of doing that to every single clip I literally just press command C which copies and then I press command A so it goes into all of it then you go to edit and then uh, paste attributes and then basically this will copy all the things that you've done onto all the other clips now that you copied and pasted now they're basically all on mute and they all have the same type of framing so now here's the kind of juicy part so i'm going to show you guys like, all my top tips that i've learned along the way of editing how to do some special effects and stuff okay so basically i want to press play and i kind of watch it in real time to see what clip i like so i probably like this one i'll delete that one smiley smile there we go, looking at the mask, bring it to the frame. So if you're editing for your feed, you wanna make sure this goes to a minute. If you're editing for IGTV, you can make it longer than a minute. So I'm literally just watching through to see what clip I like. This is what I do for the thumbnail, guys. I always try to think what's gonna be a good thumbnail. My friend once told me that if your thumbnail isn't good, there's no point even uploading the video. That's how important your thumbnail is. Especially if you think about when you go on your explore page, you just see thumbnails. And obviously there's loads of other thumbnails there. So you wanna make sure your thumbnail stands out. So when I see a thumbnail that I like, that could be quite a good thumbnail, I'll literally press command shift four and then I do a screen grab and then that will save to my desktop. And then later on when I finish the video, I'll show you guys how I do my thumbnails. Okay, so a lot of people always ask me, how do I get two clips on top of each other? Is it a special app that you need to get? No, all you need to do is just press option and then you literally just drag on top and then that will just duplicate the clip for you. And then what you do, is you click on the top one and then you press this button here. I use this button all the time. And then I go on scale and then I make it smaller here. And then this bottom one here, 
I just bring it down lower like this. I used to do this more when I had to make sure my videos go down to a minute, but now with IGTV, I can make my videos as long as I want, really. Also, I wanted to show you guys some plugins that I brought. So with Lenovo FX, you can buy different graphics and stuff like that to make your video look really cool as well. Okay, so now that I've opened that button, you guys can see I have a lot of different effects and stuff like that. Okay, so on Lenovo FX, you guys can see they have loads of these different animations. It's quite cool. Like, they have, like, some popping effects. I used to do this a lot more when I had, like, time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie it's quite long to do but if you want to make your videos stand out they are a really good way to you know bring a little bit of visual effects so like this one's really cool because it kind of like swishes across so i'll show you guys how to use it i'll put it on top of this here it's a bit big at the moment so i need to rescale it just make it a bit smaller so it looks like it whips around so you can even like rotate it like this you can use these things which kind of like moves it like different directions you can also add a drop shadow as well. I love adding a glint to it, which makes it look like neon. It's quite cool. You can change the color of it as well. You can have loads of different colors here, or you can even press the color board. Or you can literally like change it to whatever color you want. It's very, very cool. I love Leno effects so much. They have so many cool transitions as well. So like this, I'm like, ooh, looking to the side. And then now I kind of want to switch things up. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so that the frame is always like moving a little bit. Not to the point where it's annoying, but you want it to look a bit different every single frame. Otherwise people will click out of the video. Okay, so something that I found really, really helpful is speed ramping. And I found this by watching YouTube videos. Just say if I want a bit to be like super slow, I don't want to keep blading and then have little small clips everywhere. So I basically do speed ramps. If you press shift, B, it comes up like this where the clip is still one whole clip but it just blades the speed here so basically I can make both of the sides at the end go really really fast and then the middle bit will be super super slow so I can drag this bit out can you guys see that there's certain bits that goes really, really fast the middle goes really slow and then it goes really, really fast at the end so like sometimes when you see some people do like their lip liner and it goes from like really fast and then really slow this is how they'll do it of course you can like press blade and then you know make this bit smaller but sometimes it's so annoying when I want to rearrange your clips and there's just like these little clips everywhere I'm going to show you guys some transitions i have invested a lot of money into transitions i have a lot of leno effects ones i love ryan nangle nagel but he does a lot of free transitions that you can literally get for free or if you want to buy the full pack you can literally buy it for like 10 pounds it's not too expensive but he has some amazing ones i have like a whole folder for him and basically this will kind of like whip back and forth it will kind of do a cross dissolve you can have this little light flash here. The ones in this folder are all free. You literally just download it and then install it onto your Mac and it's so, so good. The free ones, you only get one of each. So you literally have to keep downloading loads. But if you buy the whole pack, you'll get like 10 of them. Just say like, for example, here, I'm going from far and then I'm zooming in into this clip. So I basically want this transition to be a bit smoother. So what I would do is... This is another one that I bought from me. It's called Smooth Transitions. This is one of my favorite ones I use all the time. This one basically zoom in really fast. So you basically put this in here and then it just basically does that motion. It just kind of goes Phew! Obviously you can make it faster or slower by bringing it in if you want it to be a really, really fast transition. Transitions are just a really good way to kind of like make the Instagram video a bit more fun Especially if you're editing along with the beat as well of the music. So I'm gonna show you guys another trick Okay, so I just press option. I just drag the same clip at the top So I'm gonna zoom in into the middle here. Okay, I'm gonna crop the top There's a bit too much sky there. I might zoom in a bit more. Okay, so I've got it like this So now I want to have like a cool background here So I drag this again and then bring this one down below here and then you want to go onto your effects folder. One that I really like is called Bad TV. And then I literally just drag it on top of the clip here and it gives it this kind of like retro kind of feel where it kind of like buzzes around. So that basically it gives attention to that clip a bit more. All these little things guys, it's like, it took me ages to realize how to do it. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Okay guys, so I managed to get my video down to one minute, 13 seconds. Okay, so now I'm gonna move over and show you guys how I transfer this onto IGTV. Obviously if you guys don't know, IGTV is a bit of a longer format. This one is 1080 by 1350. The IGTV is 1080 by 1920. So it's a lot more narrow and before 
before I used to actually edit directly for IGTV, but I found whenever I shared it to my feed, my face would be so cropped, my face would look so fat, my products will be cropped out on my feed. So what I do now is I edit it like a normal Instagram video, and then what I do is I press Command All, I copy, and then afterwards I will press File, New, and then I'll do a new project again, and now I'll call this Skincare IGTV Mask. And then I'll do custom. And then now I'll put in 1080, uh, 1920. And you guys can see this is the template now. It's so much more narrow. So I literally just paste. So this is all my clips here. What I do is I literally highlight all those clips. I'll press right click and then I'll press compound clip. So now this is basically all one clip here. If I wanted to re-edit this, I can literally double click it. And then this will bring me my whole timeline. And then when I want to go back, I press this little arrow here. And then it basically just combines everything together. So now if I want to move it, it will all move together. And then what I do is I press option and I duplicate it. So now you guys see at the top, there's like these black bars now. Because that's how much IGTV is like so much more zoomed in. So then at the bottom here, what I do is I press scale. And I basically duplicate the video so that it still takes up the full frame of IGTV. And then what I do is I go on to blur. This is already built in. You don't have to buy this or anything like that. And I go to Gaussian blur. There's loads of other blurs you could do. You could do like a prism, which makes it like a cool kind of like retro vibe. You could do like focus. I like Gaussian because you can not really see what's going on. It's not too distracting. So I press Gaussian blur and then it basically gives me a bit of some movement in the background, but it's not just like a plain black background, basically. I want it to take up the full frame of IGTV. And then now that's basically the template of it. And now what I'll do is I'll find some music. So a lot of questions that I get asked about all the time is where do I find my music? it from my first pick is epidemic sounds so with epidemic sounds you pay like a small monthly fee but it's so good for youtube videos instagram videos for vlogs all of it is literally copyright free music so i literally just go through the staff picks normally they change it literally every week and i see what type of music i like one of my favorite artists is this one called lovely I don't know how to pronounce her name, but it's L-V-L-Y. She has like one of the best songs ever. I really love Epidemic Sounds because it has the instrumental version or you can do the vocal version as well. If you also like this song here, you can press this button here and it will show you guys all the similar songs to it. Also, I love it when you go on albums and it will show you some of the top creators on here. It will show you like hip hop songs. There's even like albums for like makeup tutorials and stuff like that. So I'll leave a link to Epidemic Sounds down below. It's so good guys i'd really really recommend it you're guaranteed to not get your stuff taken down if you use epidemic sound also something that i've been doing recently is i've been going on to youtube and i love trap nation they also have chill nation they have some other channels as well but on trap nation it's really good because it does remixes so a lot of times people ask me how do i get more like current songs and what i do is i literally go on trap nation and then i go on their banging remixes and they literally have a whole playlist on the side here and you can basically download these tracks and then use it for your IGTV. I don't even know technically if you can use remixes. I haven't been flagged for it. Obviously do this at your own expense. And then once you found a song that you like, I literally just go onto MP3 converter onto Google and then I literally just click on any of these and then I'll just copy the URL and then I enter the link here and then you just literally convert it and then you download it onto your computer and then go onto iTunes and then any song that you like, you literally just drag it onto your timeline and then you literally just play the music where you want it to start. So I want mine to start here maybe. And then I literally just play the song. Everybody wants to know. Also, if you notice this little arrow, it changes to a bit wider and this is how you make the music kind of like slowly taper off instead of cutting off abruptly. See? And then now it's time for the thumbnail, which people always ask me how I do my thumbnails. So my thumbnails is a very like love-hate thing, but I just find that I have to upload my thumbnails 
separately i also have to alter the color a little bit so that it makes people want to click on it okay people complain about clickbait and all this stuff but girl you're getting free content okay i need you guys to watch my videos so if i need to do a little bit of something something to get you guys to watch my videos then damn well i'm gonna do that same thing you know what i mean so i basically do all my thumbnails on photoshop so you basically want to press uh, new and then i literally do do 1080 by 1920 and this will bring up your IGTV format. And then you wanna go to where all your screenshots are. I literally have like a couple of different screenshots. I literally normally have like at least five different thumbnails and I'll click on it all and I'll see what catches my eye the most. Okay, so once you found the thumbnail photo that you like, I literally just drag it onto here and then you guys see how fucking small it is. I press Command T. Guys, know your shortcuts, okay? And then you hold on to Shift. And then you drag this out. You have to hold on to shift and then it will kind of make sure that it expands evenly. If you don't press shift, then girl, your photo will be like all horrible and like stretched out. So then first I'll go on to um, adjust. Contrast. So you make it a bit more contrasty. You can also change your brightness as well. Then I also go on to sharpen. I do unsharp mask. And that just makes it like really, really sharp. Okay, and then afterwards, I want to make the colours a little bit more vibrant. So what I do is I just press this button here. This is how I do all my YouTube thumbnails as well. I literally just go with this selective tool. Then you press this bracket key to make the thing bigger or smaller. Or you can literally just go like this and change the size. And then I literally go around this purple bit here. Make it a bit smaller for that bit. And then, as you guys can see, my eye is also in that selection. So I want to crop out my eye. And then I press Refine Edge so I can see what bit is cut out. And then I always feather it. And then I also do a bit of smoothing as well, just so that the lines are not, like, proper jaggedy. Okay, and then I press Command-C and then Command-V. And that copy and paste a new layer here. So now I can make this layer, like, completely different if I wanted to. And then what I do is I press Levels. Basically, the more you drag it, it goes darker or it goes lighter. But it does it in a way that it isn't too crazy. So I basically want to make this more vibranty. I want this bit to be a bit brighter. So then I'll also go on to curves. Curves is quite like a weird one. The way you drag it can look really, really different. So let's just play around with it until I like it. Probably want to make this sharper again. I want to make it a bit brighter so I can go vibrant. And then I can make the saturation go up. The vibrance go up. So you guys see before and after. So it's changing the colour a little bit, which I do sometimes, not gonna lie. This is like me show you guys all the tea behind the scenes, okay? So don't hate the player game, hate the game. If you do want to change the colour completely, you can go into hue and you can literally change it to whatever colour you want. You could be a freaking alien if you want to do. I hardly ever do this. I only do this if I literally have no thumbnail at all. Then I'm like, shit, I really gotta do the catfish today, you know? <laughs> then you press command D to take down the selection. This is the before and after. Save it as a JPEG always. And then sometimes I just type some shit in here, guys. Sometimes I'm like skincare one, 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 two, three. Find the photo and then I literally drag this and make this as small as I can. Basically drag it until it's like 1.1 millisecond. So basically you won't ever be able to see this, but when you put this onto your IGTV, it literally will just pop up straight away as your thumbnail. But if you play it, it'll be like a little blip. You'll never see it. So then now to export it at high quality, I go to share master file. I used to do Apple devices before, but master file is a bit better i go to settings i always change it to computer and then i always press better quality and normally it makes the file a bit bigger but it makes it more hd and then i save it and then there and then now it's exporting and then i literally just airdrop it to my phone okay so that's it for this video i hope you guys really learned some tips here you guys have been editing along the way i know there's so many people that are so stingy with their tips and i've even watched a couple of these how i edit videos and they don't even share most of the tips it's just so bland and like they just scratch the surface you know i need someone to go in deep like show me how to do that you know i honestly wish that when i was growing my social media there was more videos like this out there that i could just watch and realize what i was doing wrong how come i can't get this to export properly why is it going blurry honestly if you are not jumping on the bandwagon with social media girl get 
on it because there's nothing more rewarding than reaching so many people around the world it's like you have an amazing family online that you can always depend on they're always so supportive and i never ever take that for granted so that's why i do this video guys because i really want everyone to grow so if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if there's any other videos you guys want to see like this i can definitely feel more like tech hauls my top tech products i can definitely bring grang on here because he edits all my youtube videos so let me know what you guys want to see down below in the comments give me a little thumbs up for this video because it really really does help out my channel it lets youtube know that people like this video and then they're going to push this video out and then that really helps out my channel so that i can create more videos for you guys you know i scratch your back you scratch mine we're all scratching each other's back that's how this shit works okay so just let me know down below what else you guys want to see from me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys enjoy the bloopers Mwah. that was so fucking long stop hello i'm so freaking talked out already i haven't started freaking filming the video yet can I turn on the fan? No, I can't because it'll be like and then you guys will just click out, right? I just filmed this look for an Instagram video. Actually, <laughs> oh my room's so messy. Do you want to say something for the bloopers? You're rubbish at editing. <laughs>